blinders on, I guess, to their good behaviour and just focusing on the bad. You must do all that you can to build their self-esteem and confidence. I'm really ashamed of myself for not noticing how wonderful my children are. Now you'll notice. Yeah, but now you notice. You can do so much now to make it better for all of you so that you're all happier as a family. After watching the DVD, I want to go up and just hug my girls, tell them how much I love them and how sorry I am and how much I'm going to try to be the parent that they deserve now. We're going to be here for the whole day helping you guys implement, reinforce and tweak everything. Ready for some more work? Sure. Yes. Okay. I was really disappointed not to see the play and walk away technique being used because it will keep the girls occupied and allow mum to spend more time with Tristan. So the first thing I did was to introduce some arts and crafts for the girls. Okay, here's your glue. Put a little bit on the back of whatever bead. Very good. Oops, okay, Dad. Fell down. I want to take you out of the picture. So, Mum, that means this would be as if you were at home okay. during the day with all of them, all right? How about me? Glue, please. Mum, we'll go straight into the laundry room, okay. and we'll leave the girls. Fantastic. Soon enough, the girls were having so much fun, they didn't even notice that Mum had stepped away to do some laundry with Tristan. Yay! You did it! Joe's play and walk technique is a simple thing. I mean, I just felt like, oh my god, it works. That's so great. Okay, I want you to go past the girls, mm -hmm. give them praise about how they're behaving well together. Okay. Wow, girls, you're playing really good together. I'm very proud of you. I think Deirdre finally understood today that if she gives her attention first, then they'll be occupied. She'll be able to leave them and walk away and get on with her chores. And that's how the play and walk away technique works. Tonight, I wanted to show Deirdre and Trey how they could have a peaceful family dinner, but still work on Tristan's speech. You gonna help me? Let's go ahead and follow through with that and see if we can get him to... Ignore. I'm working then... on it. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Very good. With meal time, I'd like to work with Deirdre and Trey on getting him to say yum yum and show Deirdre how successful he can be at saying those words during dinner. Yum yum. I don't think he's going to do it, Trish. I have that mother bear instinct. I want to feed my child, and I don't care what it takes to do it. No, we're going to make him say it, dear. I could see that Deirdre was getting really frustrated. She wanted to give in to Tristan's temper tantrums. But if she'd have done that, she'd have only been going backwards. Never be scared of a tantrum, because you know what? It will be the same as if Marlena yum, yum. and Caleb over there had a tantrum. Yum, yum. It's not that I'm scared of the tantrum, it's that I know yum, he's yum. hungry and it's a little bit past dinner time. Yep. Just remember that even though you know that he's hungry, just that little bit, that little step further is what makes such a big difference. No, just think that him. pretty soon he's going to be saying it every time. Finally, Deirdre and Tristan calmed down and a few minutes later, they had success. When Tristan turned around and just said yum yum, I was just like, oh my god, it works. Let me set it right on cue. At the same time, Kayla and Malena were behaving beautifully. I didn't want them to be forgotten, so it was important that they got praised too. Let's not forget the girls as well, right? They're behaving beautifully. Yeah. That was wonderful. You are such a good girl. Good Listen girls. how good you are. Yeah. Good girl, Kayla. You're eating like big girls. Yeah. Every single bite tonight, he yeah. has said a word for. Yeah. Every single bite. So, Mum, I think the girls have done well. If you want to let them excuse themselves. Would you like to be excused? Dinner tonight was absolutely fantastic. Tristan was engaged, Mum and Dad were giving the girls lots of praise, and there was this beautiful family dinner happening before my eyes. Priceless. Hey, Yeah, to you. Well, Lynn, I think our work's done here. I think they're doing great. It's going to be tough to say goodbye. <laughs> I feel very confident that Deirdre and Trey have learned a lot from this process. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for rescuing my family. Because without you, I don't know where we would have gone.
I feel that educating Deirdre and Trey has allowed them to become more confident parents. Bye, sweetie. Bye, Tristan. together don't give up we yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. wow cool since joe and dr kegel have been gone we are all much more appreciative of life in general and we had been taking it for granted for a long time for the first time in my life i can't wait to wake up tomorrow and be the mom that my kids deserve and just have fun with them and start living my life rather than what Joe said. I'm 27, not 87. Three, yeah! When I look at Tristan now, I see a hopeful future. He's going to be all that he can be, all because we worked with him. Give him a kiss. I've seen a real huge change in Tristan. He tries to communicate with us a lot more. And I think it's because he's finally coming to understand that we understand him. What Joe and Dr. Cagle have shown me means my kids will have a better future. They are going to have a better mommy and daddy. Deirdre and I now realize that our family is number one, and our kids are our utmost priority in life. Thank you for giving me the hope for me and my family to have a normal, functioning, well-adjusted household that will continue to grow for generations. Thank you, Dodo. Thank you, Dr. Kegel. If you'd like information regarding Dr. Kegel's autism, go to www.abc.com and click on A Better Community. Second time with a pizza cheese. <laughs> Yeah. You gonna be a rock star? You gonna be a rock star? <laughs>